Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, to your channel. And today we are discussing something very important, you know, something that is going to affect the way we perceive life. We are going to discuss about that. And uh, please don't go away. Make sure you watch to the end. And what I need from you, I want you to give your comment, give your own view about this that I'm going, we are going to share together. You know, it's about the topic that has been going on, you know, for some time now. And um, the way, especially the way some people view death in this part of the world. Now, I want to ask this question. Is death a will of God? That is when somebody die, it will, can we say that is the will of God? Is that a destination or is it a journey? That is an aspect. The second aspect of the question that I want to ask and or the topic I want to share uh, our opinion, our view, you know, and I'm going to tell you my own view of the matter, my own, you know, it, it's just an opinion, you know, that is that a penalty for sin? You know, is it a penalty for sin that when somebody died, maybe he died because he has done something wrong and that is why he died? You know, the way we view about this thing. So I, I want us to give our comment, our you know, honest opinion, and I'm going to tell you my own. And remember, my own opinion is not binding on anyone. I'm just giving it, you know, the way I perceive life. Your own may be different from mine. Please, let's share the thought so that at least one or two persons may learn from this. And before we go on, I want to pay a tribute to this young man here that passed on, you know, I actually, I must say this, I'm not a fan of uh, hip-hop music or the kind of music we sang. And when they, I listen to news, you know, I listen to radios and, you know, they play all this music and at times it's appealing to your legs, to your hands, to your head, you begin to shake, you know, when you are listening to this. And um, on September 12, when it was announced that this young man passed on, where well, I said, well, people can die but as someone who has a blood running in your vein you know as a father as a as an uncle and uh, you know you want to feel that ha, uh, this young man with this bright future ahead of him and and uh, he had to go so early like that uh, you know i want to send a condolences to the family members and the youth generally and i want to pray that the almighty god will comfort the family uh, and the the child the wife the lord will comfort everyone and so uh that's a lady Oluwa, popularly known as moba I want to say, may your soul rest in peace. Uh, and uh, let's come back to the topic of today, you know, because I saw another picture, you know, some people maybe given a comment, he was once a choir in the church, uh, and then maybe if he had remained a choir, things like this would not happen. Uh, and uh, that's why, you know, this has been going on for a long time, you know, and uh, people, when somebody died, because they don't belong to our uh, denomination, they don't belong to our faith, uh, the next thing we want to begin to find reason why things are happening to them. Now the question is this, in your denomination, in your church, so to speak, are people not dying? You know, are people not dying? We see pastors are dying, even at their prime ages. We, 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 we see the children of pastors are dying. You see, I want to believe in my own opinion, just like I say, that death is the will of God. It's a destination. Every one of us, we are going to reach that stage, uh, that destination. It doesn't matter the age. Uh, you know, when the death come calling there's nothing we can do to prevent it to me i believe there's no amount of prayer there's no amount of fasting that can avert a death i believe that and i know there will be a controversy about it you know the same pastor that will tell you in your church that heaven is so glorious that it is more beautiful than the earth is the same pastor that will tell you to pray not to die because if you don't die you won't be able to go to the heaven you know the lot of conviction you know, even the pastor don't want to die, yet heaven is so beautiful, it's beautiful than the earth, yet they want to remain in the earth. You see, uh, I believe that will happen to us in one way or the other. Either it happened to you early in life, either it happened to you late in life, but this 
uh, the, 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 the certainty is death must surely happen. And let, let's look at it. You see, the way I see it, there's some people that the purpose God has given to them will come to fruition after they are gone. Yes. You know, some people will fulfill their purpose while they are still living. And some people will fulfill their own purpose will be fulfilled at after their death, example like Jesus Christ, apologies. This is not a religion. I'm not trying to, you know, it's, you know, run that any religion. Like Jesus Christ, for three and a half years, he imparted, he introduced his ministry to the world, and he died at 33 years of age. And look at it, over 2,000 years now, that name is very powerful even more powerful than ever before and you can see billions of people you know still holding on to that faith that jesus christ gave to the world you know what am i saying that there's some people they will fulfill their own purpose after they are gone then that's the end they are fulfilled but there are some people their purpose will rise up after they are gone you know so please the way we view when somebody die especially when they don't belong to our caste they don't belong to our faith i think we should change our orientation there's nobody that holds the key of death it's only in the hands of god and he knows the date and time for everybody either you like all your juju all your prayer and fasting cannot stop death the only thing in God, it is dead to me in my own opinion. It's certain for everybody. And I'm going to take you through a Bible for, uh, you know, I'm sure so many people want to quote this. What about this man who pray? There's a king in the Bible. Uh, you know, let me just open it from here. And uh, there's a king in the Bible called King Ezekiah. That when God sent a prophet to him, prophet Isaiah, go and tell him that he's going to die. He should set his house in order. Now, to me, that is a beautiful opportunity for this king. Now, this king has to beg God, I want to live more. And God said, okay, Isaiah, go and tell him that I've had that 15 years to him. I will tell you that the, that last 15 years of this man bring a lot of problem to the nation of Israel. He really caused damages to the children of Israel. If he had died at the appointed time and he didn't beg to leave, then things would have gone normal for the children of Israel. Number one thing that is the one after his last 15 years, what the, the damage that it caused for the number one, he set Judah up as a prime target for Babylonian invasion. Now it was during his time when the Babylonian you know representative they come to, to, to the land of Judah and is the one that showed them that there's money here and when those people they saw they, oh there's money here and these people they came after his death to invade that land because of his foolishness the second thing and the, 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 the one thing is it was during these 15 years that he gave back to a son Manasseh go and check in the scripture there is no king that is as evil as Manasseh what if this man has died and he didn't get back to this child maybe you know a lot of a lot of arms that happened to the children of Israel as at that time wouldn't have happened it was now I want to read a portion of the Bible here that's in second King uh, chapter 21 you know uh, verses 9 and but they did not listen and Manasseh led them astray to do more evil than the nations had done whom the Lord destroyed before the people of Israel. Now, this happened, this Manasseh came, I think, in the in the second year of the King Ezekiah's last 15 years. I see what has happened. To me, I want to that death is the will of God. It can come at any time. God knows the appointed time for everybody. But my advice is this. Whatever your appointed time may be, make sure you have spent your lifetime with God. There's a purpose God has set for you to fulfill. Are you fulfilling your purpose? Are you fulfilling your purpose for God? Now to me, whatever you can do that can bring joy to people, that can bring happiness to people, is a purpose. 
It, it doesn't matter. Everybody cannot be a pastor. Everybody cannot be a lay reader in the church. Whatever your hand finds so doing, make sure you are imparting life. See, this young man, he imparted his generation. You can see, you know, when, when I saw the procession, when I saw a lot of stand up for this man uh, uh, across the nations, in UK, in some part of Nigeria, I said, no, no, no. This is a life that has affected lives. Is your own life affecting others? Before you condemn people, why not check into your life? Are you living a life that God can say, I am proud of this life? So let us live our life to fulfill a purpose. I want you to uh, give your own comment about this. Is that a destination? Is it the will of God? Or death is a punishment for wrongdoing? Or is a penalty for sin? I want you to give your own opinion. I've given my own opinion about it. That death will happen to us at any time. Depending on what has been written by God. It can happen to you when you are young. It can happen to you when you are old. But the most important in is this the life you are living now are you living to fulfill the purpose of god for your life and that is why every moment of life that you wake up to see please appreciate it appreciate it you know gratitude all is a lot about gratitude the time that god is giving me is the time i'm having now to speak to you i don't know what will happen in the few moments to come now only God knows. And that is why whatever I can do to bring smile, to help others, that's why this channel is created, you know, to help people to discover themselves, you know, to, to help you to discover your purpose in life, you know. So God bless you and make sure you like, you subscribe, share with others. Make sure you write your comment. I want to read your comment. I want to learn from you. Thank you so much. And May the Almighty God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. God bless you.